Andrew, welcome to Empower Network TV. Very excited you're here at 3 a.m. your time, South Korea. Just saying. That's that. Yeah, that's correct. Um, yeah, if nothing else, it shows my uh, my intention to be part of this community and uh, to serve people. You know, getting up. It's yeah. been a habit for the last year. Getting up at 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m. for various Zoom calls and meetings and trainings. So, yeah, wow. it's kind of been the norm. And I met you on first date networking event. Now, Cindy was Cindy or Yayoi who invited you? Yeah, Cindy Cindy Gould. Um, yeah, I'm happy. I'm very proud and uh, to be able to call her a mentor. And yeah, she very graciously invited me in that to that event. Yeah. Amazing. Amazing. Well, I'm glad you're here. And I heard a little bit of your a little bit of your three minutes worth, maybe four of your why you do yeah. and, and what you're solving. So let's jump into this. You call yourself the ordinary guy coach. Where does that come from, Andrew? Well, it, it came from the idea that, you know, who do I, who do I want to serve as a coach? So my journey to becoming a coach has been, it's been a long one, a bit of roller coaster. And, you know, I, I, I was thinking about, you know, who's, who do I want to serve? And, you know, the answer came to me that it's basically me, me a few years ago, like my, my when my life, you know, was, was a mess. I had problems and issues and, you know, I, I just felt like I was just an ordinary guy living an ordinary life. Um, and I th thought I had a feeling, you know, that things could be better. Things, you know, didn't have to be plain. And I could possibly live an extraordinary life if I, I put in some effort. And, you know, I met wonderful people over the last two, two and a half years. And it, it has transformed my life. And now I'm here talking to you just as an example, you know, like this. I couldn't have imagined this, this kind of experience that the people I'm meeting just a couple of years ago. So going from extra from ordinary to extraordinary is, is what I want to help other other people to be able to to envision, to see. Like I couldn't have even imagined this. So, you know, I need somebody to open my eyes and point point me in a direction that I didn't realize was possible. And that's what I want to be able to give back to to other people who maybe feel like how I felt uh, you know, just a few years ago. Well, you talk about eyes open, eyes closed. So in your experience on this planet, what where why were your eyes closed? What circumstantial things took place? Yeah, well, I mean I, I grew up you know, I, I had a good childhood, I had a good good adolescence, I went to university went to a good university. 23 years old, I came out to South Korea to teach English. And, you know, so, so it's all good. It was all good, wholesome, wholesome stuff. But there was limits to what I could see what was capable of me. Uh, um, you know, when I had troubles, when I had problems, people would say, you know, that's okay. That, that's okay. But there was not much, there was no, I, looking back, there was not a lot of like things could be better things things can be better than this it's like don't worry you know like you'll get through this but where was the like the other side like once you get through this it was back to being kind of you know, not to use my own phrase but ordinary again right it was like you know dips and then back to being ordinary and then dips and then back to being ordinary and it wasn't until i met people in the coaching world coaching space that you know, like you're capable of more, like you're, you're capable of, like, I see this in you and you, you, you're capable of being, you know, extraordinary. And I was like, really? Like, I, I, I do this well, I could do this. And, you know, that was my eyes being open to, I guess, potential, really the, the potential that was there that nobody, either they didn't see it before, or they just didn't, you know, I couldn't see it, whichever way it was. That was my, eyes open, eyes closed kind of thing. Things were not going too badly for me, but I realize now they could have been going a lot better. Okay, so a lot better. So what have your eyes, more on that please, what have your eyes been open to now? What possibilities are you starting to consider? Well, 
I mean, let's let, before I get too grandiose, <laughs> let's um rewind just a little bit. Like I I was suffering from depression. I was suffering from the consequences of the depression, like drinking too much, um, self isolating, th things like that. And you know, I had to I had to move past that before I could even consider career changes and and the like. So I had my own experiences with coaches and, and counselors to help me get to get through that. And then I had the idea that I could do what they do. And that was probably one of the first like I eyes opening experiences where I was, oh, hold on, I, I have some experience here that I got through this this trouble. Now I can help others like me get through the same trouble. And then getting into the coaching world myself and learning how to be a coach, how to be a presenter, it it really opened my eyes to what other people are doing. Like other people who've had similar experiences to me who are now hosting TV shows, who are hosting podcasts, who are writing books, who are giving keynote speeches to, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of people. And I've heard it said before that all you need is one, one, one person, one close person who really believes in you and sees something in you that you don't see yourself. And, and that's what I had, but I was very fortunate to have several people like that because I joined that amazing Institute who train coaches and, and that's where I'm at now. Like I'm wrapping up this year. I've, I'm, I've had an interview with you right now. I've got another interview lined up um, with, with the amazing Cindy Gould. I can't wait to be on her show. Uh, we're talking but at least a chapter in a book next year. And I would like to publish my own book too um, that incorporates the essence of coaching plus teaching. Because another thing I do over here in South Korea is an English language teacher. So those are just a few things that are opening up to me from the work that I've been doing this year. Being your, I love this, your story. So... Who else is this affecting in your immediate circle? Your transformation, your awakening. Others are being affected. Yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, just going back four years, I was a single divorced single guy in South Korea. And, you know, not to get too deep into it, but it was very lonely and I self isolating and, and, you know, I was very fortunate to meet a wonderful woman who is now my wife. And I went from being this, it was, it was, it was a tragic, <laughs> tragic picture, but now I'm, I'm married again and I have a two year old daughter. I have a stepson. We have another daughter on the way. who will be with us in March next year. I'm working in a university um, in Seoul I've graduated from the core and the elite level of the um, Neuroencoding Institute. I just came back from California, for, went to California for two days just to go to a graduation event. Um, you know, the, these things I, I wouldn't, I would have laughed out loud <laughs> if you told me that I was doing these things just a few years ago. So there are just a couple of people in my life, not to mention all the students that I teach who are getting better, a better teaching experience out of me because of the what I've learned um and to use your own word ripple the ripple effect of um of all this you know that my students are generally adults they go home to their kids and their kids talk to their friends and I envision yeah that I'm touching a lot of people's lives that I don't even don't even know to be as well honest love that you're here Andrew yeah Thank you. How can we how can we serve you here? Who do you need to connect with? Who do you want to connect with? What type of oh, yeah, please. Yeah. My I want to connect with men in there, not just men. I mean men men primarily is my focus because well, I'm a man. <laughs> but you know, women have the same have the same problems too. So, you know, I would definitely not ignore any any woman who came to me with the same issues but you know it's it's the people who are isolating themselves cutting themselves off from the world because they've 
they've lost their for lack of a better word their mojo you know for life if they've lost they've lost their desire to to grow they they've they're in a rut you know they're stuck in a rut they they don't like their job possibly they've lost their satisfaction with work they're, they're in they're in trouble with their relationships with their significant others maybe they have kids maybe not so their relationship with their kids are being affected i want to reach out to those guys who were who were in my position like i lost a marriage i lost good friends and that doesn't need to happen you know like if you don't want it to happen you can reach out to people like myself who are here to guide you and help you to get out of that rut, get your mojo back, get your energy back, get your essence back and just, you know, love life again and 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 really blossom again as as a person. You don't you don't need to stay where you are if if you don't want to. Yeah, yeah you just have a very calming presence so Thank you. We will spend some time with you, Andrew. Yeah, thank you. Did you got a book you're going to be writing? You're about your journey, your transformation. Uh that that's a big a big picture goal. Um, at the moment, I'm in talks with a few other people who are in my field of putting a book together, and I'm hoping to have a chapter in that book that will include. Mostly, I what I would focus on is identity. Like, who who do you see yourself as, and and who do you want to be? Who do you want to see yourself as? So, I'm hoping to write a chapter about personal identity, and with, as I said, as a language teacher, that that's another another project of of writing language books. But ideally, yeah, start small uh, with a chapter in in a in a group project. And then move on to my bigger project of a book about my journey. Because I, I feel like I'm still very much at the beginning of my journey. So there's a lot more to learn. There's a lot more to come. And that will, will, that will make its way into, into a biography of sorts, possibly. Well, taking, taking on the posture of humility like that, will, you will gain and you will grow quick. I'm convinced that I, 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 obviously, I meet a lot of people, and the ones that stay humble, man, their cups get filled real quick. So I applaud you, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah, it's, it, I, I struggle. I mean, I even, even I've progressed so far in my journey. It, it's still a struggle to, to really acknowledge who I am and where I am right now. The, the, the people that I'm meeting and associating with, like the idea you are the top five people you hang around with the most, the, the people that I've been uh, hanging around with recently, the world, like, you know, the world's my oyster and I, anything is capable if I keep, if I keep moving in, in that direction and that the people I'll be able to reach and help and influence it's exciting. Excuse if I don't, if I'm not exuding excitement at three o'clock in the morning, but my heart is, my heart is there. Um, my, my brain is maybe still catching up a little bit, but it is, it is very exciting. I I didn't even know it was gonna be three o'clock in the morning for you. I'm shocked they just showed up at three a.m. I, I think you're maybe one of the only two people I've ever heard of showing up at this time for an event. Wow. I you you know you you show up when you gotta show up right like um if somebody if if my mentor is giving a lecture at three o'clock it well if it's it's one p.m. Eastern time then I'm gonna be up at two o'clock Seoul time you know that that's that's what, what I've gotta do um yeah do the do gotta you gotta do what you gotta do this is, this is what I gotta do today you're inspiring Andrew you're inspiring. Anything that any last words that you'd like to leave people with? Yeah, well, any last words, you know, just as my mentor said to me, you know, just just be yourself and be authentic and speak from your heart and, and everything will be everything will go well. Thank you for this today, Andrew. If you've been listening, watching Empower Network TV. 
the ordinary guy coach. Right? Yeah. Andrew. You're either your OG coach or the or ordinary guy coach. You'll find me on on Facebook or Instagram. I'm accessible. Um, yeah. Yeah. Andrew Michael, is it Houghton or Houghton? You know, I I would <laughs> I would almost allow any pronunciation to be fair. My family says Horton, as in like the coffee chain, the H Tim Hortons. But uh, I've heard every every possible variation on it: Houghton, 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 Heaton, Houghton. So uh, you know, I I don't mind. My mentor calls me Andrew Houghton. I'm like, you know what? I'll take Houghton. That's fine. <laughs> you know. Good, good for you for being flexible. Again, humility. Thank you for being here, Andrew. Andrew thank you for having me, Miss. Oh, dude, you're a pleasure. My pleasure. Please put any links you have, Andrew, after. I'll tag you in this. I'm sure Cindy's going to see this as well, other institute members of the neural encoding. And it's a pleasure having you guys there. The, the caliber of people in the neural encoding is. High caliber. I've noticed I've, I've done six, I don't know, ish interviews with people in your circle. And I love every one of them. Amazing people. You guys I, are. So I absolutely agree. Yeah, I was with them on Sunday for, for Joseph's birthday and our graduation. And it was just, I'm still, I'm still recovering from the over, sensory overload of the people I met, the, the stories I heard. It, it's, yeah, it, my words fail me to express just how impressive, how yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing people. I, I totally agree. Yeah. Wonderful. Thanks for being here, Andrew. Let's sign off then. And please put any any links you have in the comments after I tag you. Uh, thanks for watching Empower Network TV today, everyone. You have a blessed day. Thanks, Andrew. Have a great day. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.